Deals are always coming and going, but something that's here to stay is our friend Ethan. Let's welcome him to the chair area to talk about this product. <laughs> you okay? Always. Hey, Good. Brett. Hi, friend. This is huge. Not the battle bot, but it is a robot. You know, frame. Actually, this is just the slightest bit smaller than the maximum size dimensions in FRC. So there's a little bit more room to grow. It's a little bit smaller, can fit through some tighter spaces even. So there's room to grow. There's room for more activities. Whoa, it's so cool. Okay, there's a lot to take in here. So many pieces and parts and bits and bobs. Ah, where do we start? What's this? That's a wheel. And this? That's another wheel. Specifically, these are high grip wheels, six inches. This, all of them? All of these are six inch high grip wheels. Okay. Uh, these are the ADA durometer. Now this frame is compatible with more than just these wheels. We plan on selling it with our six inch performance wheels, four inch high grip wheels, and our four inch performance wheels. You mentioned two different diameters. That's true. Can I do five inch if I wanted to? If you really wanted to, you can, but we're not selling it with those wheels. Okay. So this is like a whole big thing that has different wheel options. I see gears. That means this is a gearbox, right? That is 100% correct. Congratulations. It's not a true box. You know, it doesn't have like the six sides, like the box. We had boxes last year. I thought those were amazing. Maybe this is the next best thing that we get from boxes is gear boxes. It's our upgraded open face boxes. Like the sandwiches. Absolutely. So are these changeable? Yes. So these, this frame will come with these two gearboxes. Well, really one type of gearbox. It'll come with two of them. Uh, these are Evo Slim gearboxes. One for each side. And actually what you see here is a slightly modified version of the Evo Slim gearbox so that it fits with this chain outside of the tube um, in this drivetrain. Now this drivetrain is also compatible with the regular Evo Slim transmissions um, with the chain inside the tube. So there's two sort of major versions of this drivetrain. You've got your chain inside tube and chain outside tube. I have it inside, have it outside. Can have it inside, can have it outside. This is so cool. So if I need more real estate inside of the drivetrain, I this could all just go whoop. Absolutely. In fact, that's what it's originally designed around. So we have all these components and they will come with you, come with this drivetrain if you order it for chain out of tube. It'll come with a slightly different set of components for the chain inside tube. Uh, so if you want to okay. upgrade one into the other, change it around, you will have to get some more components. That makes sense because it's two different mindsets of, of design and usage. So this is a, is this a shifty one or a single speedy one? So this, these are single speed gear boxes. Single speed. Okay. But there's different options. Are they all single speed? Are they all dual speed? You can fit an Evo shifter gearbox here, particularly in the chain inside tube configuration. Go fast. And slow. Only one at a time though, only one at a time. So we've talked about the boxes that have gears, the things that are around. What about the stuff that holds it all together? We okay. got some, some boxes. <gasps> More boxes. Yes, this is two by one box tube extrusion. This is eighth inch wall. Uh, so this frame is put together all with two by one extrusion. So it's pre-drilled on the top face and the bottom face. I don't have to drill these. You do not have to drill these. That's a lot of holes. If I had to do these, <laughs> they wouldn't be in a line or the same size. I know you folks at home are probably really excited not to drill these out yourselves. Continue, Ethan. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. There's so many pre-drilled holes. You could put so many things so many places. You also notice that these drive rails and the end rails both have extra sets of holes. So all this stuff to just get pre-connected. There's holes on this side. Yeah, so we've even included <laughs> clearance holes for heads of bolts that go into the tube plugs that connect these pieces of frame together. So are, these are these are kitchen sink holes? Like they've got the rounded edge? I'm not sure what you mean by that. The kitchen sink, all. it's got the, it's, it's for like flathead screws, the kitchen sink. It's like, as opposed to the countertop sink. Sure, let's go with that. Okay. Oh no, they don't have the rounded part. So it just the, the bolt head goes completely through. Yes. It's a countertop sink. Okay, awesome. I understand what you mean now. It took me a while to get there, but I'm fully with you. Uh, no, these are not countersunk holes. 
Uh, they're not counterboard holes, they're just through holes. So you can insert the screw all the way through um, oh, into the I center see. tube. Okay, so there there are corresponding holes on the back sides that line up with these larger holes. Okay. You'll find inside these uh, drive rails that we have two two plugs, one on either end. A two plug sits at the very end of it. There's a couple holes you can see oh, mounting on the side a here. tube plug. As well as in here. It stops up the tube. Exactly. Tube plug plugs the tube. Got it. So the two plugs in combination with the gussets that you see on the top and bottom of the frame here, uh, keep this frame extremely rigid. Uh, some teams have built these with only the gussets. Some teams still need the tube plugs. We just have to do both. It's extremely rigid and robust. Are there any other cool shapes involved in this? Do you have any favorite shapes on here? I like rectangles. How do you feel about hexagons? Uh, they're the best hexagons. So one important thing about this entire drivetrain is it's all done with hex shaft. So all these shafts you can see are hex shaft. There's no round shafts, all of it's hex bearings. So everything's fully powered all the way through. And it's all the same shaft, all the same hardware. So you don't have to fiddle with any silly machine keys anywhere. Absolutely, hexagons are the best hexagons. It's hard to argue with cold hard facts. So how do I put one of these together? You mentioned that we don't have to drill these holes. Those are pre-done. The gussets come with pre-drilled holes. Is it easy to put together? Super easy. Well, I'll ship you all these parts in a box and an assembly guide, and all you have to do, put it together. You just kind of zip, zap, zoop, slide things into place? Yeah, I don't think those noises will happen, but you can do that. I would recommend making noises while you assemble. It's so much fun, and it adds to the building experience of the frame, and maybe you can use it as a fun activity for team building on your team while you're building. Now you mentioned this will all come together in a box. Is that like our climber in a box? Like, is this gonna be a tube of one plug gusset in a box? You could almost call it a West Coast Drive in a box. A West Coast Drive. West Coast Drive, which is the style of this drivetrain, uh, means that all these shafts on the edge are cantilevered. So all these wheels can be removed at any time by just uh, pulling the bolt at the end of the shaft, pulling the shaft all the way through. Wait a minute. I don't have to undo stuff on this side and this side to get the wheel out? Absolutely not. In fact, to pull the wheel out, all you have to do, undo, undo that bolt, pull the wheel straight off. What? I've never seen him this excited and I'm scared. One of the biggest complaints that we've ever heard, when you're at an event and you are in playoffs and you've got to make changes to your drive, you don't have time to get out the arbor press and the hydraulic car lift, you gotta get the wheels off now. Yeah, This absolutely. is huge, Ethan. I like, I like to think that it's innovation, personally. And you, you designed this. I did. Okay. I didn't invent West Coast Drives, I but I designed this. I am in the presence of a hero, a legend. This is amazing. Everyone that gets a hold of one of these is gonna be so happy because it's simple to put together, easy to maintain, plenty of options. I don't know how someone couldn't be just ecstatic to have one of these. I'll be ecstatic if you buy them too. West Coast in a box, maybe? Maybe. West Coast Drive in a no outside blocky shaft thing system in a box. You know, that seems like a mouthful, but you know, we'll Take that into account. When we'll we workshop it. Yeah. We'll, we'll come up with something that's much easier to say. Oh, I almost forgot. Bumpers. You got to put them on your robot. You don't want to damage your robot frame and your opponent's frames. We don't intend to sell this kit with bumpers this season. Uh, we're investigating a bunch of different options for how you can attach bumpers to this frame. Okay. We intend to have at least a couple of examples for teams to build bumpers around us. Put like a little, little thingy here and Little thing there and bumpers. Yep, it's that easy. So these gear boxes will be coming with this chassis this season. We're also trying to get for this chassis flipped Neo gear boxes. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited. Are you excited? Write in the comments. I'm excited. The 77th person to say I'm excited will be one after 76. So, flip, 
It's like a trampoline add-on. Uh, you know, kind of like, like that, but also boing, whoop, not at all like that. Okay. Uh, basically, the flip transmission just takes these Mias and flips them over the rail uh, just outside this wheel. So these don't touch, but you've saved all of this. Stop place. the presses. This motor will be here. Two of them. How is that helpful? They're here now. Why would you move them It's all them about over? space savings in this center region here where you're going to be building most of your robot up structure. Um, any of those components that you're going to put on top of this. Um, so we're trying to just give you as much space as possible, sort of make this a canvas for your team to build your incredible robot this season. I'm trying to process through this, Ethan. This is, for me, very complicated to understand. So we take all of these electron mechanical conversion units and move them over here. How much space acquisition do we get? Uh, I don't recall the exact number. I think it's about three inches. That's a lot for how much space is here. That's a huge percentage change of more space, means more activities, means more, more fun and more robots. Probably also means more better for your performance. You heard it here first, more better. So can you use any motor available in FRC with the, the flip gearbox? No, it'll be just compatible with the Neo motors. With the Neo motors. Okay, is that because these are kind of short length motors? It has to do with their, uh, just the dimensions that we can fit in that space with the tools that we have. Is that a feature that's only available for this West Coast, possibly in a box drive? No, so it'll have, so this drivetrain uses the same mounting pattern as those Evo Slims, uh, as those Evo shifters, all that. And the flip gearbox will use that same mounting pattern. So you can theoretically use it wherever you want, whether you're building a custom drivetrain or another Animark drivetrain. So you're not locking beautiful people at home into this amazing product on this. They can get it by itself? Yeah. Truly gracious, truly innovative, truly amazing. Engineers or something else, yo. You heard it here first. These engineers. That's what's up. Thank you, Ethan, for coming down and showing us this amazing, amazingness. I can't even summarize how incredible this is. We know the folks at home are gonna love it. We know that it's gonna bring up the level of competition. And with that, we'll see you at the competition, hopefully with plenty of these. Thanks for coming down, Ethan. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Careful, don't fall.